Following our last two publications of Laksa and Roselle, both of which have recipes attached, for today's session, we use the combination of growing pandan and lemongrass because their combinations give a unique flavor as well as some health benefits in the drinks. Pandan is hardy and requires low maintenance. The leaf is aromatic and gives a nutty flavor. Pandan is a very useful plant to grow in Asian cooking to flavor desserts, kueh kueh, cakes, and even rice. The juice extracted from the leaves is used as a food coloring. Pandan leaves tied in bundles is often put in kitchen cupboards to scare away cockroaches. Now we will begin with the growing of pandan. Today's session, we are showing you how we can grow pandan, pandan here, lemongrass. These two herbs, when combined, make very refreshing drinks, desserts, and food. So we are we are starting with pandan first today. So planting the pandans. We will need, we, there are two methods of planting pandan. If you will happen to go to the market and buy a bunch of pandan, then you will bring back, strip off the top leaves so that what you will expose will be the stem. This is by stem cutting. Okay, We can plant the stem directly into potting mix. My potting mix here comprises two parts of organic potting soil and one part of compost so we can just plant it directly into into the soil making sure that the stem is firm water it and you leave this in semi shade the second method of planting is by planting suckers okay now i i harvested this from my parent plant and there are actually three suckers here. I can plant this as three separate suckers. Okay, these are small and they will try and take time to grow. Or I may plant a whole sucker, a bigger one. This one is a safer bet because as you can see, the roots are well developed. So planting this directly into a pot is quite easy. Bearing in mind that the pandan grows fast and big, you will need a big pot or better still, plant it in the ground if you have the space. So after planting this from the sucker, I will water it and leave it in the sun so that it will thrive better because there are already roots and they can grow quite easily. Like the pandan, lemongrass is also very useful to grow. Bundles of lemongrass will keep lizards away. Like the pandan, this herb has many uses. Have you tried lemongrass chicken or as a drink? We will now demonstrate two methods of starting your own lemongrass collection. I will now demonstrate how I propagate lemongrass or sirai. So all I need to do is go to the market and buy a couple of this lemongrass stem. Bring them home and then you can use one of two methods to grow. You can either plant these directly into the soil. Okay. Full length plant it directly into the soil or the other method that I use is I cut since I do not need such long um, lemongrass plants I cut them into pieces four to six inches long and I put it into water 
making sure that I change the water every alternate days. Now, as you can see, these were planted like three days ago. And you can see that roots have begun to grow and also shoot. Note the shoot, shoot and roots growing. Here too, long shoot growing. So this is a faster way to propagate lemongrass. This one takes a longer time. So once I've done this, okay, now this is to show you that I will cut pieces four to six inches long and put it into water, okay? But make sure that you change your water every alternate days so that you do not encourage mosquito breeding. After about five days, these are ready for planting. So you will take, as usual, a pot, a rather deep pot, because lemongrass tend to grow tall. So then, all you need to do is make little depressions in the potting soil. My potting mix is always ratio of 2 to 1 organic potting soil to compost. So make a little depression, just bury this in and firm the sides around the stem of the lemongrass. Water this and leave this in semi-shade for a couple of days until you see leaves growing. Then you can leave it in the sun because lemongrass likes sun. But at the same time, remember to water it. It likes well-drained soil, but at the same time, um, it will not it will not like completely dry soil. So this is a, another way of propagating lemongrass. This slide shows the lemongrass and pandan ready for harvesting. We will now show you how to prepare the pandan leaves and lemongrass for cooking. Take three pandan leaves, place them one on top of each other. Then you fold it down, one fold, two folds, and then tie a knot. On the other side, so that you would need less space when you put it into the pot to boil. Okay. The dry leaves on the outside of the lemon grass, they are stripped off. These are not so nice, so I've taken them off. So what I'm going to do now is here I have three lemon grass stems. Take away, I cut away part of it because it doesn't look good. The remaining parts, now I'm using a pounder to smash up. Smash up. see that it is smashed and now I cut it into strips okay since lemongrass and pandan have several medical benefits and have been used as natural remedies 
in Asia for a long time, drinking lemongrass tea, pandan tea or a combination of these two herbs will give some health benefits. We have enjoyed brewing and drinking this humble, refreshing tea all these years. Hence, we are sharing with you the following recipes. In the sessions that we have put up, we share with you the joy of gardening. Growing and watching plants grow is our passion and gives us hours of relaxation. Incidentally, there's also a miniature pandan which can be grown in dish gardens and not for cooking. You may look forward to future postings on growing calamansi, green jaws, passion fruits, etc. If you feel this posting is useful to you, you may consider to subscribe to our channel as you can look forward to similar publications from garden to kitchen with attached recipes. Thank you for your attention.